Trade is what the city has always been about, whether on the river or in its many markets. And just a few minutes north of Tower Bridge, I'm given the rare privilege of a seat within something called the Ring. The cliché image of the greedy 80s is of men in bright-coloured blazers shouting. All but one of those markets has gone to computerised heaven. Now, just the one, the London Metal Exchange, remains a live, throbbing market. And I have to say, it's one of the most dramatic spectacles I've ever encountered. Apparently, the guys sitting with me in the ring are dealers, buying and selling metal futures, say a thousand tonnes of zinc in three months' time. The ones standing just outside are giving them instructions, which they're getting from their colleagues in the outer ring who are on the phones to the clients, who might be, say, Peugeot cars, wanting to buy aluminium for next year's production line. I'm told that over 80% of the world's industrial metal prices are set in this ring, and the urgency is because everyone waits to buy or sell till seconds before the market closes. 